Hello and welcome. This is Irfan Lodi and you are watching Project Planning Techs. As a planning engineer, we know that our weekly cycle is very quick and short. In this video, you can easily learn how to add WBS structure from Excel to Primavera within just 5 minutes. Today, I am going to show you how to create WBS from Excel to Primavera. It is very quick and very easy. If you look at here, I have got Excel sheet. I have created a table here which is having WBS ID. It is a sequence number from 1 to 39. So the total I have got here 39. And then I have got WBS short name. So here I have got the first project ID and the project name. And then I am going to show you how I have developed these codes. So WBS short names are depending on the colors I have defined here. So that green color here is defining WBS level 1 and then yellow color is defining WBS level 2 and then gray color is defining WBS level 3. But how it works? If I filter out here by color green, you can see A, B, C and here I have got parent ID. So parent WBS ID is 1, 1, 1 which is referring to WBS ID 1 here. Then I have got yellow color for WBS level 2. So the WBS level 2 here is defining WBS short name 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and these all 7 are referring parent WBS number 3. Let's have a look what is number 3. So the number 3 basically referring procurement status WBS ID here. So if you look at here these all 3 referring that and then short name I'm defining under the B level 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7. Now under construction it is referring number 1 which is there and then C is short WBS name for my level 1 and then under C I have got some WBS level 2. Let us have a look here that I have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and these all are referring to 11 which is hidden somewhere here. Let me unhide from here. So basically this 11 is referring that. Similarly this 3 was referring that accordingly I have got WBS level 3 which is there. So WBS level 3 parent WBS is referring that WBS ID. So the builder's work is sub WBS of block 1. And that's why I am taking block 1 WBS ID as parent WBS which is 12. Similarly, I have got another WBS level 2 and underneath I have got 16 which is referring WBS ID. Similarly, I have got 20 which is referring that WBS ID. And underneath I have got 1, 2, 3. So that's how you have to define your WBS codes and why we have created WBS ID, WBS short name, parent WBS and WBS name because these four columns I am going to fill in into the Primavera XR file when I will open up in notepad. So let's have a look. Let's say I have got my database here and I am going to add a project under training. Let me add a project. I have got a project finish so that's my project created here which is showing new project as project name and it is showing some default project id now let me open it up so that's my project but under the project there is no wbs here i am going to create some random wbs which will be used for defining my wbs structure which i have created already in excel file and then i am going to export next 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 and I will save it, name WBS, finish, close. That's my WBS XCR file. And I'm going to open it up in Notepad. So right click, open with Notepad. And that's my project. If you look here, it is showing project WBS. So I'm going to copy all the project WBS to the end, which is showing percentage E means end. I will copy Ctrl C, I will go to Excel file, 
I will add another sheet and from the first cell I will just paste so control V or you can paste it from here it's up to you and now what I need to do here is first of all I have got here WBS short name which I am going to change it and then I have got WBS name which I am going to change it I have got parent WBS ID which I am going to change it and the most important here the WBS ID so let me highlight for you so you can have a better understanding what I am going to change I am going to change this that and this let me go to my sheet which I have created with WBS and then I will copy here we have got total 39 WBS in this sheet the WBS we have added are total 17 now here we need to work around and add the rows which would give me total 39 rows including existing rows what I am going to do here I am going to add more rows so if you look here that is the one which we are going to update so now I, I will copy that and then I will paste it here now I know that that's my last row so I will remove extra rows and then I will just simply fill down to match the formatting and that one is project ID so of course it will remain same so we'll keep it as it is and then I will look at the OBS we have not created OBS however it is the same from top to bottom so we will make it same now here if you look at here sequence you will find out 100 200 so the increment is 100 so we will do it like that plus 100 so it will give us the result to match the the format so we will apply a formula and then we'll make it copy paste values it is done and then est will keep it same and then here we'll keep it same just fill down as it is status code ws open we will keep it just fill down here we need to take the short name from here as we have created already so just copy the range go to another sheet and paste as values here and it is done only you have to make sure that everything is aligned yes it is okay fine then we have to go to WBS range copy the WBS range and then paste values here and then here we have got all the relevant WBS face ID is blank here parent WBS ID we have already defined here so we will just copy the whole range we'll go there and just paste as values and then everything here is same if you look everything is same so we, what we will do we will just copy and paste the same to the below cells that's all we have to change it and we will just make it no color we will make sure that E is just right below the last WBS we will save the file for backup we will go to the first cell press ctrl and A key so it will copy everything press ctrl C to copy the selected cells let us go to XDR file notepad and paste these values from percent %t to percent %e that's my wbs section of my xdr file so i'm going to paste here what i have copied from excel so just press ctrl v now everything is copied here and that's all we have to do i will save the file and then i will close and go to file import again so that's my XDR file which I just updated if you look at here 438 and let me show you here it is 438 and then I'm going to select it next import to so I have to select my EPS which is there click next click next click finish it is successfully imported close the window here I have got my project let me open the project here we go if you look here 
I have got all the WBS which are created here and it took me only few minutes. So what I will do now, I will select all, copy and paste it to my Excel and compare if my WBS are created correctly. I don't need these columns. What I need only is WBS name. So if you look here, CCBRT project, which is there, then general, then procurement status, then all the blocks, and then construction, it, it follows exactly same as I have defined. If you have any question about the terminology that I have defined here, you can write down in the comment box and I will respond to you accordingly. Give me your feedback and please subscribe my YouTube channel to remain informed of new videos.